China unveils bigger, better and most advanced Type 054B frigate that could become the next PLA Navy workhorse. The internet is buzzing with images of a brand new Chinese frigate, known as Type 054B, believed to have been launched at the Hudongzhonghua shipyard in Shanghai, as reported by journalists and military enthusiasts. This development gained widespread attention after its initial mention on social media over the weekend. However, it's the recent, more detailed images shared by PLA observers and naval experts that offer the clearest glimpse of this latest addition to the Chinese naval fleet. Although its nomenclature suggests a close relationship with the already operational Type 054A, this new warship stands out for its innovative design. Analysts speculate that the Type 054B represents a larger and more advanced iteration of the Type 054A which currently serves as the backbone of the plan and is extensively used in various roles. The timing of this advancement holds great importance, coinciding with the period when the People's Liberation Army Navy plan is actively enhancing its military capabilities due to heightened regional tensions and extended naval operations. Analysts speculate that the recently introduced Type 054B vessel may ultimately join carrier strike groups, which are currently expanding their presence into the Pacific and surpassing what Beijing commonly refers to as the First Island Chain. The vessel reportedly to displace 6,000 tons, an increase of 2,000 tons compared to the Type 054A. It's expected that the Type 054B will eventually replace the Type 054A, which is either no longer in production or nearing its end. Notable features of the Type 054B include a new rotating AESA radar, upgraded sonar, advanced weaponry, enhanced air defense, and the adoption of an electric propulsion system, a significant departure from the Type 054A. Unlike the Type 054A, the Type 054B features a fully electric propulsion system. This innovative system enhances the ship's power conversion efficiency, reduces energy consumption, and ultimately leads to superior navigation and increased combat capabilities. The Type 054B is one of the few frigates globally to utilize electric propulsion. According to the South China Morning Post based in Hong Kong, it is anticipated that the 054B will be equipped with an Integrated Electric Propulsion IEP, system developed by Rear Admiral Ma Weiming's team, a prominent naval power engineer within the PLA. Additionally, the vessel is expected to undergo testing with cutting-edge shipborne armament weapons. The notion that the Type 054B is powered by IEPS, or Partial Electric, system, which, if accurate, would offer the advantage of quieter electric propulsion for the propellers and increased electricity generation for various ship utilities. An anonymous military analyst, focusing on the PLA, pointed out that the primary benefit of the IEPS could be the potential to equip the vessel with more potent weaponry. Compared to the existing Type 054A, though specific weapon details remain undisclosed. Journalists and military experts have observed that the Type 054B frigate is notably larger than its predecessor, the Type 054A. Analysis based on pixel measurements from obtained photographs suggests that the Type 054B's length is approximately 150 meters, in contrast to the Type 054A's 134 meters. This increase in size is believed to be linked to the People's Liberation Army Navy's plan, intention to accommodate attack helicopters such as the Z-20, which bears similarities to the U.S. Black Hawk helicopters on a frigate of this class. With the growing utilization of drones in combat scenarios, Analysts anticipate that the Type 054B may also be designed to support unmanned combat aerial vehicles, UCAVs, capable of taking off from its deck.
When questioned about whether the vessel's enlarged dimensions were aimed at facilitating the operation of attack helicopters and combat drones, Joe suggested that while speculative, this notion was not unlikely. The 054B frigate boasts a slightly expanded helipad and hangar, aimed at enhancing its compatibility with the Z-20F ASW helicopter. While it's possible that it may incorporate helicopter drones, such as the MQ-8C model, there's confirmation of at least one significant naval helicopter drone in advanced development or testing. The size augmentation from the 054A is not primarily attributed to this aspect, Joe clarified. When pressed for more details on the vessel's increased dimensions, Joe explained, its enlargement is primarily intended to ensure its relevance as a modern medium-sized naval combatant, aligning with contemporary operational requirements. However, the exact configuration of the Type 054B remains shrouded in ambiguity. One potential system under consideration is the same setup found on the Type 054A, which boasts the capability to launch the HQ-16 medium-range SAM and U-8 anti-submarine missiles. Another possibility is the utilization of the Universal VLS system, as seen on the Type 055 and Type 052D, with the potential to launch a range of armaments including SAMs, anti-ship missiles, ASHM, and potentially other types in the future, as elucidated by Locke. In stark contrast to the Type 054A, which is outfitted with a 76mm gun, preliminary images of the Type 054B indicated the presence of a 100mm main gun. Despite the unveiling of this new gun, uncertainties persist regarding its specifications and capabilities. Rick Joe stated, we currently lack information on the VLS type, we require images for identification. Historically, the 100mm gun has had reliability issues, but there are reports of modifications and upgrades that may have improved its reliability. The 76mm gun is suitable for 1,500-ton corvettes and 4,000-ton frigates, but for a 6,000-ton ship, they might consider a larger gun. Some military analysts have suggested that the Chinese may have replaced the 76mm gun because it was deemed too small for larger targets and too large for smaller ones. Upon closer examination of the vessel, it becomes apparent that it houses an HQ-10 SAM launcher on the solitary hangar, an AH-PJ. 1111 barrel 30 mm Gatling gun is prominently positioned in front of the bridge. Furthermore, experts anticipate that the engagement of airborne targets at closer ranges will be managed by two distinct close in weapon systems. CIWS, while SAMs launched from the VLS, will handle longer range air defense. There have been reports suggesting that the Type 054B may eventually serve as an escort for the Type 075 amphibious warship and helicopter dock. When asked about this, Rick Joe commented, in general, amphibious ships in amphibious groups are not typically escorted by large destroyer or cruiser-type vessels, but this can vary depending on the mission and the presence of other task groups. <laughs>